it's certainly been it's certainly been a challenge in that we're literally inventing a new industry. In the fight to improve carbon capture technology and reduce the rate of climate change, we're speaking to one company that's using innovative methods to suck carbon dioxide out of the air. Co-founder Kelly Earhart is from Project Vesta. It's a beach project that takes the rock olivine to the water's edge so the waves can grind it up, allowing the ocean to absorb more carbon. And how hard has it been to take this idea and make it into something that can really make a difference on a on a larger scale? It's been quite a journey. So when we started, we were a small team of three that were essentially volunteering our time, really our 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 midnight hours, if you will. And we kind of put our heads together because there had been this incredible solution that we saw that was you know, it's called enhanced weathering, this overall field of work. Um, and enhanced weathering was cited in every report on climate change that stated how we would get to under 1.5 degrees of warming. But there was no company that existed yet to, to scale that solution. And so we started Project Vesta in an effort to see, first of all, can we get enough scientists to talk to us about this, to see if this is something that we can bring out of the laboratory and into the real world? And it turned out we could. So uh, our team has been growing pretty significantly since then. And our team today uh, looks very different than it did when we first started. Uh, we have an incredible multidisciplinary team of scientists from around the world, um, eight PhD staff scientists that are really leading the charge on this research effort, um, and then an amazing operations team as well. But the 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 biggest you know, lift is is just bringing this research from the stage that it was in to the stage where we can actually understand real world deployment, and uh, it's certainly been it's certainly been a challenge in that we're literally inventing a new industry. Of course, carbon removal exists and carbon offsets exist, but in ocean alkalinity enhancement or coastal carbon capture is completely new. So it's really fun in, in some ways because it kind of feels like I'm always at the edge of my understanding and really the beginning of my curiosity in this field. Yeah, and it sounds like you must all get a lot of energy from each other, I imagine. Um, how has it been building that team and finding people that might be good for the project? It's been fantastic. And Something that's been surprising when we first started, we had um, we had a really great online presence. It's kind of how we how we came out into the world. Um, we got a lot of attention online uh, for for this being a solution that really inspired a lot of hope. And because of that, we actually had a number of people reach out to us that are on our ta our team full time today. And so there's been a lot of amazing sort of influx like that. Um, that's helped us to build our team and and also to build our team culture. I think our team culture is probably my favorite part about the job because we all really inspire curiosity in each other, inspire asking asking new questions um, and diving into into our understanding as deep as we can. Because we're in such a new field, we are able to do that and able to sort of stretch the um, the limits of our understanding and our work by bringing science and business together in a way that they otherwise wouldn't have. What got you interested in this area of environmental business, Kelly? It's something I've been passionate about since I was a kid. Um, I grew up going between two different, very different places, the suburbs of, of kind of middle America and then the, the middle American um, rural countryside where I experienced a really deep contrast in ways of life and moving from a place where there was a lot of industrial activity to a place where there was really just minimalism and nature. I saw um, the change in, in the way that impacted human life, the way that that impacted the natural world. And so since I've been a child, I, I, I was really passionate about it. Um, I started my career kind of working to understand how humans could be more of a net positive to nature by working on commercializing sustainable technologies and helping organize, originally organize events and bring people together that are working in the sustainable sphere. 
Kelly, how have you found entering the business world with your role at Project Vesta? Have you had to learn some new skills? Absolutely. Previous to Project Vesta, I was much more in an operational role at my previous companies. And at Project Vesta, it's been this incredible opportunity to learn a whole new skill set, a skill set that requires innovative financing structures, um, a skill set that requires uh, an ability to fundraise. And so I've, I've gotten to really learn how to work within the nonprofit space and, um, and speak to the need for philanthropic funding to try and bring something you know, out of academia and into the real world. And then also within developing a, a business strategy for a market that is truly a brand new market. So the carbon market, the carbon offsets market um, is an incredibly complex and nuanced one. And we're bringing a new methodology for change into that. And so it's taken a lot of uh, unique conversations with, with new partners and has been a constant learning effort to, to really understand how we can make impact in that space and introduce the, the coastal carbon capture solution as something that doesn't just serve our company, but can kind of uplift an overall field of, of ocean research. 